This is the grade six math practice test for T and ready. Question number 10. Quinn is playing in a trivia competition. He earns 50 points for each correct response and he loses 25 points for each wrong response. Which expression represents Quinn's total points in the trivia competition? The first thing we need to do is see if there are any connected components and there absolutely are. 50 points every time there is a correct response. 25 points for every time there is a wrong response. So, for instance, if Quinn gets 12 questions correct, we'd multiply 12 times 50, or add 50 12 times, which is crazy town, um, to find out how many points that he's earned. For every incorrect response, so say incorrect three times, we would multiply 3 times 25 and get 75. So we need to make terms that indicate each one of those scenarios. 50 points for correct responses, they identified correct responses as a C, so we would put 50 C here. 25 for a wrong response, so we want to do 25 with W. And then finally, the last element that really matters here is that the 25 points will be earned, the amount here will actually, for incorrect responses, will actually be lost. Loses. So we would subtract to get that final answer. So our answer to this question is S, and you're essentially done. Let's look at the incorrect answers to see why they don't work. This one actually matches the appropriate um, variable to the appropriate amount or coefficient. Unfortunately, you're adding them. So somehow or other, Quinn would get points missing questions and points for being correct. They are less points, so I mean theoretically that would be okay, but in this case, no. <clears throat> and P and R are matching the wrong variable to the wrong coefficient, so or they switch them. 25 points for correct answers is what this says, but it's 50 points. 50 points for incorrect answers is what this says, and that's not right. So there's no way that these can match up. So my answer to number 10 is S.